if I might, I'll, I'll just share with you some of my thoughts and reflections on enough. So the question was posed to me was, what is enough? How will we know when we found, created, accomplished enough? There was a second part to the question that referred to alchemy and the transformation of finite resources into unexpected abundance. But if I'm being completely honest, delving into that more specific question related to enoughness may have just exploded my brain. <laughs> there was so much going on just around the simple thought of what is enough. <clears throat> because as it turned out, I found in my musings on the original question that the evaluations of it and the attachments of that word enough as connected to our own existence are inexhaustible. A few of my thoughts written in the notes section of my phone <laughs> that I encourage each of you to reflect on in your own time and in your own way are these. Enough is a comparison. Enough is a measuring stick. Enough is a judgment. Enough is elusive. Enough is aspirational. Enough can hold both negative and positive energies. Enough is a feeling. Enough is the absence of awareness. Enough is not worrying about what you are lacking, but appreciating what you have in abundance. A fractional step past enough is too much. A fractional step below is too little. Enough is enough is a ridiculous statement. <laughs> I also wanted to share a reflection related to enoughness on an interpersonal level. Though, as I stated, there are inexhaustible questions that can be reflected on surrounding enoughness, one of them is how deeply personal enough is to each of us. The narrative that played out in my thoughts were those of someone trying to uplift another who may have been feeling down or insignificant or unworthy or any other of the myriad negative self thoughts that plague so many. Instinctually and as an offering of care, many of us may try to uplift this individual by telling them that they are enough. I tried to sit in that space of the individual receiving those caring words and found myself reflecting on the dishonesty of the sentiment. For, after all, one truth that I did find myself becoming more and more resolute in on my journey with enoughness was how it is only the individual who may make that determination. As for whether or not I believe we can ever know that we have found, created, or accomplished enough, I can only speak for myself, and personally, I don't. And for that I'm thankful, because in that knowing, I can judge enough on my own terms. I can hold myself up against my personal belief of what enough is. Ultimately, I decided that as part of my practice, I would evaluate these offered questions and reflections regularly check in with myself on just how I'm feeling about how each of these thoughts on enoughness are resonating with me. A daily meditation on enoughness. Those are my thoughts on enough at this moment, but it is very fluid. And in closing, I'd like to share just a poem. Nothing, well, it is, it's beautiful, but it was the, also the first poem that came up. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily it resonated. This poem is by David White from Where Many Rivers Meet. Enough. These few words are enough. If not these words, this breath. If not this breath, this sitting here, this opening to life, we have refused again and again until now until now.